What's up guys, it's Frey and today I'm going to show you how to set up your Facebook Pixel. Go ahead and go to business.facebook.com and create an account. It'll kind of walk you through the steps and then you will be good to go. Once you create a business account, you will land to this page. So from here, I'm going to go ahead and create a business. It's going to ask for some business information. So go ahead and fill it out real quick. And once you actually create your account, you're going to be looking at this page right here. You can see it's all brand new, no ad accounts or anything. So let's just go up to this little top right corner under business settings. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. The first thing we need to do before we actually install our pixel is we need to make sure all of our settings are correct and we link it to our Facebook page if we have one, uh, link it to our Instagram page. Once we added the page, it's asking us if we want to link our Facebook page as well as our Instagram page. So I'm just going to go ahead and add both of them. But if not, what you can do is just simply go under the Instagram account section under accounts on the left hand side. And then you can go ahead and add your Instagram page here. So here we can see all vegetarian Inc. My Facebook page is connected. So once you add your Facebook page, go ahead and go to the add account section where you will add an account. So for you, you're probably going to have to click the first option, which is add an ad account. Now, the reason why it's grayed out for me is because I just made one. And if you just created a new business account, then they're not going to let you create multiple ad accounts for some reason. So you just have to make sure and go through the ad account <coughs> process here. All right. So that's pretty much it. So just to recap, all we have to do before we test for our pixel is make sure that under pages, we have our Facebook page connected our ad account created for the business that we want. And lastly, our Instagram account connected and that is it. So from here, we can go ahead and install our Facebook pixel. And to do that, we're just going to go under the business settings section and go under events manager. And we're going to get started right here. We're just going to go ahead and click continue. So from here, go ahead and click add code using partner integration. And here we can see all the different integrations that Facebook ads can connect to. Now I'm going to be connecting my Facebook pixel to my Shopify website. So go ahead and click on Shopify. So they're going to give you this pixel ID, which can be found right under here and go ahead and copy and paste this. And we're going to paste it into our website. So go ahead and move on over to your Shopify website under online store. You will find a section called preferences. So go ahead and click on that. Scroll down to the Facebook pixel section and go ahead and paste your pixel like that. And don't forget to save it right after. Now, most people stop here because they think, okay, I put in my Facebook pixel ID and it's pretty much finished. I'm good to go. However, you still need to test this pixel and make sure that it's firing off when uh, it needs to. To do that, we're going to head back to our Facebook business manager and go ahead and click continue. Once you actually install that Facebook ID, it's going to ask you to verify the pixel is working. So go ahead and plug in your website. Mine is called veganforall.com. So it's going to send some test traffic. It's pretty much testing to see that every single visitor that comes from a Facebook link will be tracked through the Facebook pixel. Here we can see that my pixel is working correctly. It has that green dot. That is great news. We're on a great track right now. Now the last step is to make sure that it's testing for conversions, traffic. For example, when someone clicks the add to cart button, we want to be able to track that. Go ahead and click view setup instructions right here. You can exit this part out. This is really the page that I want to be at. From here, you want to go to the settings tab, scroll all the way down to the event setup section. And from here, we want to open event setup tool right here. It's going to ask for your website. So go ahead and type it in right here. It's going to redirect you to a new page on your website and this little window is going to pop up. The first thing I want to do is actually go to my product page here. Um, we have a little shop now section. So I'm going to click on any single product right here. So from here, I'm going to go ahead and click track a new button right here. And it's going to pop up this weird looking screen where it's pretty much going to ask you which button you want to label. From here, I'm going to click on add to cart and I'm going to click on this add to cart button on this pop-up window and confirm that. So what I just did is I just labeled this button and every single other add to cart button on my website. Now our Facebook pixel will pick up any single visitor that clicks on the add to cart button. Now we want to label the checkout button because it's valuable to know when someone initiates a checkout. 
and we're gonna repeat that same process here so go ahead and click on the track new button section and click on the checkout we're gonna select an event we're gonna say initiate checkout because we're not quite yet at purchase so we're gonna click on this it's gonna ask you um, if you want to choose a value on the page or don't include the value I actually just confirm it and I leave that alone I've never had any issues with that and now we can go on to pretend like we're checking out here we are this is the payment page of our website it's the final page that people go to before they click on the pay now button so we're gonna repeat the same process click attract new button click on this pay now select an event and click on purchase confirm that and now we can finish the setup on this corner here these are the three different events that we had we have the add to cart the initiate checkout and the purchase this way when we create a campaign in the future we can actually create a campaign where the goal is to get purchases now the very last thing to do is actually test this event and make sure that they're firing properly we're going to go over to the test event section on that left hand side panel right here yeah we're going to go ahead and test some events right here it's going to ask you to open your website so let's go ahead and start testing this out and the way you test it out is pretty much going through that same uh, process that you did when you labeled them so imagine that you're a customer and you're just scrolling through the website you're interested in purchasing some products so you add something into your cart right here click on the add to cart button um, click on the checkout button so I added something to my cart I initiated the checkout and now the only thing left to press is the pay now button but I'm not trying to pay $60 for a test. So what I usually do is I just go into Shopify and create a quick 100% discount code that I can use. And I just created this right here. Uh, and then I can go ahead and click pay now. We're gonna click complete order right here. This order is being processed just like I was a normal customer. Now that we went through that whole sequence, we wanna check to see if the Facebook pixel actually tested correctly. And we're gonna head back to our Facebook pixel where you actually want to look is go to the overview section right here and look down below in this area here we can see all these different green dots and when it says active that is what you're looking for here we have the page view it's active view content add to cart initiate checkout these pixels are firing correctly so right now all I'm waiting for is the purchase pixel to activate this is the most important one because the only thing i optimize for are purchases because i don't care about people coming to my website and not buying anything i just want to make sure that purchase uh, pixel is firing off correctly so we're going to go ahead and give it a little moment sometimes it can take 5 10 15 minutes to actually go through but if these went through then this one should go through too so I just came back about 10 minutes later and refreshed the page. Here we can see that the purchase pixel is green and it's fully active. So that is exactly what we're looking for. All these are beautiful and green. So that's pretty much all you need to do to properly set up your Facebook pixel. And I'm gonna show you really quickly why you had to go through each and every step by creating a sample campaign for you. So the first thing you need to do when you start a campaign is decide what your objective is. The number one objective that I run for is conversions because at the end of the day, I only care about purchases. This is where we need to make sure that pixel is firing properly. Here we can see all the different events that I tested for and the one that I wanna choose for conversions is purchase. Now your Facebook ad campaign will track every single purchase conversion that your going to make in the future. If you guys want to check out how I run my ads on Facebook, then I will have that in a separate video. And with that guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.